Do you guys remember this? This? What about this one? Siguro naman mostly sa inyo alam yung sayaw na yan at ang music na yan. But my question is, would you like to find out kung ano yung mga process na ginawa namin para makabuo ng isang ganyang sayaw? The Street Boys Way? The Secret Sauce? Well, I think you should stick around. Hi friends, this is Master May and welcome to my YouTube channel. Siguro excited na kayo, no? Kasi ako rin, excited na akong sabihin sa inyo kung ano yung secret sauce at formula ng Street Boys. Actually, wala pang ganito kayo makikita sa ibang channel. Dito lang. But before anything else, I would like to invite everyone to subscribe, like, and share, and leave a comment kung sa tingin yung naging helpful to para sa inyo. Ready na kayo? Ready na ako. At bago natin i-breakdown, I want to welcome all the beginners sa channel na to and to all the professional dancers. Help natin sila. Welcome din sa inyo. So, hi friends. This is it. I will tell you the breakdown and the secret formula of the Street Boys. I think medyo mahaba itong episode na to. So, gagawin ko itong two parts para aabangan natin. Here we go. Ito ang mga breakdown kung paano pinaprocess yung isang piece ng sayaw. First, you have the music. You have to listen to the music. You have to do the countings. Yun muna tayo. Hanggang tatlo lang muna tayo. First, music. Sa music kasi, marami mga genre yan. May R&B, may hip-hop, may EDM, may techno, may breakbeat, merong cha-cha, at marami pang iba. Meron tayong tatlong tempo lang dyan. Slow, mid, tsaka fast. For example, ng slow, yung cranberries, yung dreams, Slightly on a slow side of song yon. Siguro naman alam yung Dreams by Cranberries. Number two is mid natin is yung Selfish na kanta. Pag pinakinggan yung uli yung kanta, medyo up tempo siya pero nasa mid lang siya. Nasa gitna lang siya. And then the last one, yung Atari namin or yung Give It Up, yun yung fast one when it comes to tempo. Kapag nakapili na kami, ng music, of course, we have to listen to it many, many times, actually. If you're a beginner, listen to it probably 10 times hanggang sa masa ulo nyo yung lyrics, yung instrumental, yung buong kanta, actually. Para ma-feel nyo yung music. Kung ano ba yung gusto ng music na message or ano ba yung feel ng music. Love song ba siya? Heartfelt? Or happy? Or fun? Or something different? You have to feel it first. If you're gonna dance to it, importante yon. And then sa music, meron akong breakdown para sa inyo dun sa music na yon. Most of the songs may tinatawag na instrumental, which is the intro, lyric, chorus, yun yung, yung big payoff. Minsan kaya nag hit yung mga kanta is because of the chorus part. Kung catchy ba siya, nakaka-relate ba yung mga tao sa chorus part niya, and then after that, Lyrics again, and then chorus. And at yung favorite ng Street Boys, instrumental. Kasi dyan kami nag exhibition oh, Another yeah. refrain or bridge. And then chorus. And then instrumental. Actually, medyo marami siya. Pero if you have to listen to different songs, yun yung template niya. Most of the songs are like that. Intro, lyrics, chorus, lyrics, chorus, instrumental, chorus. So... After finding a song, listening to the music, feeling it, ano ba ang tempo niya? This time, eto na yung pangatlo natin. Countings. So now, paano ba natin binibilang yung kanta or tugtog? Sa musician, ang one bar na tinatawag sa kanila is four counts. Sa dancer, pag sinabing one, eight, ibig sabihin nun, eight counts. Oh, tatabi na muna natin sa musician at dito muna tayo sa dancing because ito yung gusto kong i-present sa inyo. The street boys way. The secret sauce. Sa dancer, pag sinabing 1-8, ibig sabihin nun 8 counts. Ano ba yung 8 counts? Bibilang ka lang ng 8 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Yun yung 1, 8. Pag sinabing 2, 8, ang equals nun ay 16. But, wait lang. 
hindi nyo pwedeng gamitin ang countings hanggang 16. Pagkatapos nyo ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, hindi kayo pwedeng mag 9, 10. Okay? Sa so dancers, you have to go back to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 2 eighths. Depende na lang sa choreographer, depende rin sa music, if it's classical or medyo syncopado, pwedeng umabot ng hanggang 12. Pero sa normal pop music or EDM or any songs, for example, sa Street Boys, ginagamit namin is until 8 lang. And then we will go back to counting 1 again. So, 2 eighths means 16 counts. Pag sinabing 3 eighths, o yan, alam nyo na yung mag-multiply. Pag sinabing 4 eighths, alam nyo na. Good. So ngayon, before we listen to a music, yung count na yon is to the beat, yung palo ng bass. One, two. So every time that you have to listen to a music, for example, let's try hip-hop. Very easy. Lahat yan, halos lahat merong beat. Bibilangin lang natin yung beat. Let's try this. Okay, now alam nyo na kung paano magbilang ng beat. You have to listen also sa lyrics. Depende rin kasi sa choreographer or sa dancer. But the street boys, when we started, even though it's a lyrics, we still count it as a beat. Except for I Saw the Sign, the, that song, ginawa namin is medyo lyrical yon. So para maging catchy. So ngayon, naintindihan nyo ba kung paano mag-count? Let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So ngayon, sa tingin nyo, question, alam nyo ba kung ilang eights yung binilang ko? Answer down below. Stop! Before we continue, I will do a part two of this, which is yung best part of it at yung choreography ng Street Boys. Of course, we will do baby steps muna. So ngayon, ang assignment nyo is listen to your favorite music, kahit anong favorite music nyo, and learn how to count it. Start muna ng slow, if you can, or mid, kung medyo intermediate na kayo, or advanced na fast songs, pwede nyong gawin yun. We just need to apply kung ano yung mga natutunan natin dito. That's your assignment so that you can understand properly kung ano yung process. Kasi kung makikinig lang kayo at hindi natin gagawin, gagano lang yun, oh, yung info, pshu, tapos lalabas na siya. Pero kung ginagawa natin, I will write it down if I were you. Favorite song, I will listen to it, I will feel it, and then look for the instrumental part, look for the lyrics, look for the chorus, the lyrics again, the instrumental, and then chorus. And begin yun ng count yun through the beat. It's either slow, mid, or high. We just need to take that as an assignment. Kasi need natin i-apply yun in real time. And friends, feel free na i-rewind nyo yung video natin so you have a better understanding kung uh, paano natin pinaprocess yung reading, counting, and listening to the music. Remember the assignment, okay? So please wait for the second part. And that second part will cover choreography. So I shall see you again next time. Thank you for chilling out with Master May. Have a beautiful life, everyone. Don't you ever forget that you are amazing. Take care, have a marvelous mind, love, and peace. <laughs>